Hey, how's it going? So a few days ago, I made that RuneScape Classic video and I wasn't sure how people would react to it because I make old school RuneScape videos and that's why people watch me. They watch me for old school RuneScape content. So I was really surprised when people actually enjoyed the video and they said they would want to see more of it. So here we are. Uh, we're on the RuneScape forums right now and I was just uh, browsing through here and if you go all the way down to the bottom, there's this little tiny section for RuneScape Classic. Now keep in mind, if you go back up to the top, there's 22 active users on all the forums. So it's pretty inactive. That's between like all the RuneScape forums. So I can imagine the RuneScape Classic community is probably very dead. But uh, if we go in here and we're in the RuneScape Classic forums now, and there are some really, really funny posts in here. So this one right here says buying Torstol. So if you go in here, a guy says, uh, you know, buying Torstol, he made it, PM me. This was from January 27th, 2016. And I scroll down this guy's, oh, I've got 50,000 Torstols if you want. When was this posted? Two years later, January 24th, 2018. And then you got this guy right here. Uh, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say they probably don't need him anymore. This is the RuneScape Classic Forum. OP is free to play because uh, Classic is only for members and it was posted two years ago. This forum is completely filled with a bunch of really interesting posts, but uh, this one kind of stood out to me, uh, read before Arav. So we'll go to that one. And this guy says that he made a brand new fresh account and stocked it up on shield halves from the Phoenix Gang. And what he's saying is if you want to play Classic, then join the Black Arm Gang and either send him a message or respond to this post. And this was posted six months ago, but throughout these last six months, he's been constantly posting, constantly bumping the thread. Uh, every once in a while, people will say like, hey, I need it, and he'll instantly reply and he'll meet them there. So this guy is like, this guy is the legend of RuneScape Classic, dude. This guy is a hero. Okay, so we're off the forums now. We are on the official RuneScape website. I know it's RuneScape 3, but uh, there's something that's really weird. There's no way to get the Classic from the website. You can search it up in Google and get to the, uh, the Classic webpage that way. But I've been searching around, I went to each of these different tabs trying to find it, and I cannot find it at all. I'm sure it's hidden there somewhere, hidden very well somewhere, but uh, I can't find it. They have like Old School up here, they have Chronicle, but I don't know if it, like if it's possible to find it or if it's just straight up not on there. But again, if you go uh, type in RuneScape Classic into Google, it's the first thing that comes up, and this is the, uh, the website link for that and then you get redirected to this page. But I don't know how to get to this page from the official website. And I was told by a lot of comments in the previous video that you can use Conduit to play Classic. And I use OS Buddy Pro normally, but I downloaded Conduit, and uh, so here's what Conduit looks like. And you have the option to play uh, Old School, RuneScape 3. Uh, I'm gonna assume Darkscape doesn't work anymore. I think that closed down. And, uh, and then Classic. So here's Classic, and we're gonna launch that right now. I was able to delete that uh, that RuneScape 3 client that I downloaded in the last video, so now I don't have that on my computer anymore, but uh, we're going to log in right now. Oh yeah, one more thing before we log in, because I don't think I made this clear exactly in the last video, and a lot of people were confused about this, but on the uh, RuneScape Classic webpage, it says you can play RuneScape Classic if you have membership, and if you have previously played Classic, but that's actually not true, because the account that I'm using for this is a uh, pretty new account, definitely never played RuneScape Classic before, and I was able to log in perfectly fine. So even if you have a brand new account, it doesn't matter how old the account is, as long as you have membership on the account, you can make a brand new fresh character on RuneScape Classic. So now we're gonna log in for real. All right, here we go. So in the last episode, all we did was finish Tutorial Island, we made it to the mainland, and this is where we ended up. It's been three days now. So we ended up right here. And we are by the uh, chickens north of Lumbridge. So this is what the stats are looking like right now. Uh, pretty much won everything except for 10 hit points and we got 3 magic on Tutorial Island. So let's go kill some chickens and get our combat stats up a bit. So the chicken just started running away. I did 1 damage to it. And I can't see inside the building. I guess there's no way to toggle roofs. But um, yeah, it started running away. Hopefully we can kill it now. I think while we're here, let's try to do Cook's Assistant. I'm going to assume that you need all the same stuff that you need in uh, RuneScape 2. Uh, where are the quests at? They're there. Uh, Cook's the chicken ran away again. Okay, here's the quest. Uh, right here, okay, Cook's Assistant. Can we click on it? Probably not. But yeah, let's try to do Cook's Assistant. That'll be pretty cool. This chicken is the very first monster ever killed on this account. Outside of Tutorial Island, at least. But, uh, okay, here's, here's what we got. We got some bones. Let's bury the bones. Get some prayer XP. We dig a hole. We bury some bones, but there's no animation for it. How much XP did we get from that? Uh, yeah, where's skills at? Oh, right here. Next to quest. Okay. Uh, we got three XP from that. Not too bad. Let's pick up this bucket while we're here. We're gonna need that for the milk. I thought this was another player, but it's just a farmer. I would attack him, but he'll probably kill us. He's level 15, and we're... Are we level 3? Yeah, we're level 3, if you can see down over here combat level three 
So I don't know why all these monsters are like really high leveled. All right, it's taking a long time to kill these. Let's just get this quest done. And uh, okay, we got the egg, we got the uh, bucket so we can grab some milk from the cow. Hopefully the cow that we get the milk from is in the exact same spot that it's in in uh, RuneScape 2. Uh, you can talk to a cow? What? What does it say? The cow does not appear interested in talking. I don't blame it. I wouldn't want to talk to the guy that's about to eat me for dinner. Maybe I can just use a bucket on any old cow. Maybe that's, we'll try it. See if it gets filled up. It did, it worked. Okay, cool. Now we have to get our grain. So I'm going to assume that the method is the exact same as it is in RuneScape 2. And uh, we have to get a pot. Maybe from the general store? Or is there one that spawns in Lumbridge maybe? We'll find out. I'll see you when I get there. There's the pot. I knew it would be here. We'll grab the pot and uh, we still haven't even started the quest. Let's talk to him, we'll see what he says. It's like all the exact same text that it says in RuneScape 2. I don't think the text has changed at all since then. Yes, I'll help you. Let's see if the quest changes colors in the quest menu. I need milk, eggs, and flour. Uh, I wanna see it change colors. Maybe it only changes colors when it's done in green. So maybe they don't have where it turns yellow if you started it. But I'm pretty sure we just started it, so uh, we just have to get the flour now. All right, let's pick our wheat now. And apparently you can't left click it to pick it. You have to right click and then do pick. So we got some grain and let's take it up here and we'll uh, grind it down. Wait a second. Why does the animation on the windmill look so smooth? That stands out a lot from like the rest of the animations. It looks like it's in freaking 3D or something. Dude, I don't know, it looks really weird. Okay, let's go upstairs now. I also just noticed that all the items that we got on Tutorial Island are still in the inventory. Like this burnt meat that we burnt on Tutorial Island, still there. The tin that we mined, still there. Everything is still there. Hold up, when we were picking this from the field, it said pick wheat, but now that's in the inventory, it's called grain. Huh, let's uh, use it on here now. Oh, look, we're, uh, we're graining this and pull the hopper. Oh, it's sliding down the chute. Let's see. Oh, look, there it is. It just appeared at the bottom. Let's use the pot on there. And there's the flour. Let's go back to the chef and we'll finish up the quest. Here we are now at the chef. We've got the milk, flour, and egg for him. Let's see that quest turn green. I want to see that beautiful green. There it is, the green quest. We got one quest point, three cooking levels. So we're at level four cooking now. It's like our highest skill besides hit points, but I don't know if you count hit points. Something I want to mention is in RuneScape Classic, you start out with 1,000 hit points XP, but in RuneScape 2, level 10 is 1,154 hit points XP. So when RuneScape Classic switched over to RuneScape 2, there were people that had level 9 hit points because they still had 1,000 XP in hit points because they never trained combat. So even to this day in RuneScape 3, there are actually some people that have level 9 hit points, but it's extremely rare to see. We've got no coins right now, so let's try pickpocketing this guy. Uh, we'll see if we fail. If it's possible to fail? Yeah, it's possible to fail. If you fail, you start fighting him. That's another thing. You have to wait till three rounds of combat have passed before you can start trying to run away. I just want to pickpocket him and get some coins. I'm going to assume it's three still. Yeah, three coins. And how much thieving XP did we get? Thieving... 8 thieving XP, so it's the same. All right, one more pickpocket, and here it is, level two thieving, where is it on here? There it is, level two thieving, woo! Okay, so I was wondering why I wasn't getting any combat XP when I was like fighting them in between the pickpockets, and it turns out, I think you actually have to kill them before you can get any XP. So I think that's how it was in like EOC or RuneScape 3 or something. You don't get XP per damage, you get XP per kill. And that should be, Another thieving level coming in, level three now. I want to fight him all the way to the death, but uh, we might get killed. I don't know if we're gonna respawn in Lumbridge or what. Should we just find out and see? Let's just see what happens while we're still here, rather than dying way later and not knowing what happens. I'm gonna assume that the stuff stays on the ground for one minute, like how, I think it's, that's how it was when it first came out. So we'll see what happens. Oh dear, you are dead. Where do we spawn? I hope we didn't lose all the GP that we just made. Oh, okay, cool. Hopefully, yeah, there's the red dot right there. Should be all the stuff on the ground. Oh, I missed what the chat said right here. Look, there's all the stuff, so we can just keep pickpocketing and keep getting all of our stuff back. Oh, that's what we saved. We saved those three. Cool. Okay, I just got like 10 pickpockets in a row. Do you like stop failing at level three or something? Because this is just like so constant. Uh, how much XP do we have left? Okay, we need one more, and there is level... Four. Nice. Never mind, it is still very possible to fail at this level. I have confidence that we can beat him this time. So we're starting with 32 XP in attack, and let's see how much XP we get from this. Not bad, it's like 29 XP. Uh, I don't know how much XP that is for damage, but cool. We got some coins also. Look at that huge cash stack, 143 coins now. 
and some prayer XP. And one more pickpocket, that should be level 5 thieving now. So I think we're good on pickpocketing for now. We have a nice sum of money here, so I don't think we need to worry about that for a while. Um, let's go do the uh, the sheep shearer quest. First, let's buy some shears from the shopkeeper, and we have to go through the very long dialogue. Yes, please, what are you selling? Uh, let's see, shears? That's <laughs> Those shears look really cool. Okay, how do we buy it? Buy one? Oh, one GP, cool, we can buy that. I buy it now. There, we bought it. This is really weird, like seeing how the interface works. Okay, so green is what they're selling, and blue is what you have. There's the man himself, Farmer Fred, and it looks like his house is a bit smaller in RuneScape Classic than it is in RuneScape 2. All right, so he wants us to bring him the 20 balls of wool, so let's go share some sheep. And apparently, you can keep on sharing the same sheep, and its wool never disappears. You can just keep on using the same one over and over, and I guess uh, the sheep have unlimited wool. Okay, so we got 10 wools, so let's go spin them into balls of wool now. All right, let's go upstairs. Hopefully the spinning wheel is in the same place that it is in RuneScape 2, otherwise we're gonna be very lost. Uh, I can't, it bothers me that I can't move the map up and down. I can only go side to side. Um, oh my God, is it, where's the spinning wheel at? Is there not a spinning wheel? Do we not have to spin it? Do we just turn it in the way it is? Okay, so no, the spinning wheel is actually up here on the top floor. And there's no bank on the top floor, it's just this empty little tower room. But we can just spin it right here. If we can figure out, I guess we have to use it on the wheel to spin it. And okay, so there's no options, it just spins automatically. And we're getting some crafting XP too. We have to use each individual one on the spinning wheel. For some reason, as I'm spinning them, it's going from bottom to top rather than spinning from top to bottom. Like if I click on this one up here, it's gonna spin that one right there. I know it's like such a minor thing, but I find all these little small things so interesting about this game. All right, hopefully he'll accept like half of them now and then half of them in a minute. Hope don't have to turn all of them in at once. How are you doing on getting the balls of wool? I have some. So let's give them here. Do I have to use them on him? It's, it's, is it, it's using them on him one by one. Why can't you just give them all to him at once, dude? You have to wait for all of them to go through. Do any of you guys remember that show Sheep in the Big City? Because these sheep remind me exactly of the sheep from that show. Why would they put a chair here if you can't actually sit in the chair? Okay, here we are back at Mr. Fred's house. We have the rest of his wool for him. So we're gonna hand them to him one by one, very slowly. And let's see that quest turn green. Sheep share right here, that should turn green, hopefully. Oh, he's paying us too. There it is, it's done. And we got two crafting levels. And uh, he gave us GP, how much did we get? I don't know how much we got, but we got some GP. We got uh, the quest done, and we have level three crafting. So that is going to wrap it up for today. And if you guys did enjoy seeing the RuneScape Classic gameplay, then please let me know because I really would like feedback on this. And if there is still some interest and a lot of people want to see more, then I have no problem making more. But I am still an old school RuneScape video maker. I'm not going to be a RuneScape Classic video maker now, I promise. If you do want to watch the best RuneScape Classic video maker, then check out GoldenScape. And I'll leave a link to his channel in the description. But he's like the only person I know that makes consistent RuneScape Classic progress videos, and they're top quality too. So if that interests you, then make sure you check them out. But uh, yeah, I do hope that you enjoyed today's video, and I just want to thank you so much for watching, and I will see you again tomorrow.